The Goldust Apartment Project is on the fast track for approval by the City Council on November 21st, three days before Thanksgiving. They are hoping the residents will be too busy with holiday plans to pay attention. On March 31st, the Gold Dust Apartment Project was submitted to the city and is making it through the application process in record time. It would be located in the area that already has more than 1,100 units within a quarter mile, and it would replace some valuable retail stores. On March 28th, the developer hosted an open house at the site, and the neighbors made it clear they did not want the apartments. The Shea Corridor is a suburban area, and the residents do not want a massive three to four story, high density apartment project in their neighborhood. Here are the reasons why this project should never be approved. This massive apartment development would be taller and more dense 48 units per acre than any other complexes in the neighborhood. There is only one condo complex that is 31 units an acre. All of the rest of the 1,100 units have an average density of 23 units per acre. There are 80 single-family homes on large acre lots located within one-fourth of a mile of the project. Traffic congestion results from Chaparral High School, located just down the street on Gold Dust. The developer has devised a scheme to create a gray water recycling system that the City Water Resources Department has said won't make any difference and questions whether it would even work. Do you remember last November when certain council people told us to vote yes on the general plan? They claimed the plan would protect neighborhoods. Well, that was not true. And now, these same council people are telling us that this project would be good for the Shea Corridor. In the August primary, the voters sent a mandate to the city council to stop the urbanization of Scottsdale citing traffic and water as their main concerns. The City Council will be meeting on Monday to vote on this project. Will our elected officials once again turn their backs on the voters and approve this project? If we do not act now, the City Council will vote for another high-density apartment project that the neighbors do not want.